Hi, today we are going to Boston. We don't arrive until 11, so I've gone to the International Cafe here on the Emerald Princess and have picked up my morning coffee and enjoying the wonderful view outside of the window. Um, getting to see the ocean, I'll show you that view. We are sailing into the Boston Harbor, and as you can see and hear, we're close to the airport. I can zoom in and see a plane on the ground, either coming or getting ready to go. I pan my camera and find a shrimp boat, the downtown skyline, another cruise ship across the way, and a container ship. This appears to be a major shipping port. We are docking, so let's see the view outside my portside balcony. It looks like our ship is going to be docking beside this building and parallel parking beside the other ship in port. All right, let's check out the starboard side view. I take the elevator up to deck 16 and make my way outside to see what there is to see. And lo and behold, we are directly across from that shipping container we saw earlier. I had the privilege of coming to Boston a few years ago and touring the city. This is an amazing city full of history and many things to see. Um, I recommend, if you've never been to Boston, that you go on the Freedom Trail. Make your way to Boston Commons, and you will be able to see a marker of the Freedom Trail and a little path along the sidewalk that's made of bricks, and you can follow along the trail and take your own tour. In fact, the National Park Service has a guide, an audio guide, that you can download ahead of time. I will link the description down below in the comments. The trail itself is about two and a half miles long, and you can stop all along the way and explore whichever sites that you want to spend more time at. Another good option is the hop on hop off, but one little piece of advice on the hop on hop off tour. If you're traveling during a high tourist season, sometimes they oversell those buses and you might be able to hop on, but if you hop off, you may not have space on the next one that comes around. So I might recommend if it is high season time that you're there, that you just ride the 90 minute circuit, listen to all the audio, and then stay on to, to drop off at the first place that you really want to tour. From there, you can walk to some of the other sites and possibly take an Uber or a taxi back if the bus seems to be a little full by that time. But since we've already been to Boston and really toured all that there was to do there, we decided we wanted to do our own tour through the ship. The one we chose was called the Best of Boston, Harvard, Concord, Lexington, and City Highlights. Princess leaves tour tickets in your stateroom, and ours told us to meet in the wheelhouse bar at 11 a.m. Our ticket reminds us to bring cash or a credit card. This is a long tour, and lunch is not included. We went to the wheelhouse, and when they called our number, we exited the ship. The inside of the cruise terminal was not very impressive. When we exited the terminal, we boarded our motor coach, very similar to the one parked a few spaces down. As we left the harbor parking, we see several people walking on the sidewalks toward town. If you're up for a good walk, it is doable to walk to everything you might want to see. Personally, I would probably just take an Uber and then walk around and decide if I had the energy to walk back after all of that walking. We drove through downtown and passed the entrance to Chinatown. Our first stop was at Copley Square. I really liked this photo of the modern glass building reflecting the beautiful old church building behind me. Ahead of us is the Boston Public Library and the Old South Church. Back in 2018, we entered the library to explore. It was definitely worth a visit. Here's another view of the library and the church from our motor coach window as we left Copley Square. Our next stop was at the Boston Market, where I stood in this long line for a bowl of Boston chowder. It was worth the wait, and Hubby's lobster roll was equally delicious. Off to Lexington, where we learned about the shot heard round the world saw a statue of a minute man, ready to defend at a minute's notice, toured the visitor center and gift shop. Then back on board to Concord, where we drove by the home of Louisa May Alcott, the author of Little Women. We entered Minute Man National Historic Park. Once again, getting off the bus to stroll down this path toward a statue depicting a minute man with his rifle and plow. I took a few minutes to watch a couple of canoers enjoying this fine fall day on the river. Our final stop on this tour was at Harvard University. Normally, if you come to tour Harvard, you will be joined by a student guide, 
but our guide was a marvelous source of information at this prestigious university. The sun is going down as we head back toward our ship, and as we are back on board and heading out of Boston, we are treated to a gorgeous sunset from our balcony. This is Shirley from Shirley's Journeys, and I hope all of your journeys are pleasant ones.